Hello, Heather Woodhawks, Mr. Corbett, Mr. Lanigan, Miss Lanigan here with you today for one of our final demos here. Now, uh, a lot of you guys liked the elephant toothpaste. A lot of you guys liked the Coca-Cola and Mentos. So we decided for our last one, if they were good apart, then they're gonna be even better together. And so we're gonna do them at the same time. Did you sign your waiver, Mr. Lanigan? I did. Okay, he signed a waiver <laughs> releasing us from all liabilities. So did you, was it in ink or pencil? Blood. Blood, perfect. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good, all right. All right. It was nice knowing you, Mr. Lanigan. Um, <laughs> so now we're gonna get this thing set up again. So why, I'll, I'll get this going. And Mr. Lanigan, if you would like to uh, unscrew the soda pop lids and start getting that contraption on, and then I'll, go I'll make sure the Mentos is open and ready because... You know what, I'm so glad you mentioned that because <laughs> I'm already tired from doing so much science and it's time for a Mentos. The fresh me. <laughs> mm. I can carry on now. Mr. Lanigan? You need one? Sure. Science really makes you need a Mentos here. There you go. Yeah, really. Enjoy. Okay. So, we have our giant 4,000 milliliter, milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, or our 30% hydrogen peroxide. You shouldn't talk with your mouth full. No, it's okay. We can get the point. We can get the point. What's going on here? <laughs> you can just unscrew this one. You know, and there we go. Put that one on now. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. All right. Now, here we go. So, we need, now I've already pre-measured this. This is an old jelly jar that in uh, MacGyver status, we took tablespoons and converted it into milliliters. Turns out about 3.4 tablespoons is 50 milliliters. And we have marked that here on the spot. And then we discovered that we already had a little cup that had little lines on it already measured, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna go 50 mils and we're gonna measure that from the bottom of our line. Go ahead and pour we... this in. Uh, we got hydrogen peroxide. So we got our 150 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide. Now this stuff is serious stuff. You don't want to mess with it. We we'll go ahead and put it back in its container. Very important. It actually ships. It's kind of an interesting, interesting how they ship this because it is very hazardous. They do ship it in um, with this special material in here that's an absorbent. So that's in the case that there was a leak. 30% hydrogen peroxide is extreme corrosive. So this would trap in any of that hydrogen peroxide, eliminating um, that danger on there. So yeah, there also it is. Also has the warning on the box. Corrosive level Dangerous. Eight. Danger, danger, danger. Whoo, danger, danger, danger. Now, we're gonna add in some dish soap. Now this, I don't remember exactly how much dish soap we had. Just a... Do you remember what, what we I did? thought it was just a... We just go... It was very scientific, yeah. Right there? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to mix that up. Should I prepare the Mentos in here? Yeah. So if you, Mr. Lanigan, will um, count out eight in to just put a little that bit one, more. but that one doesn't have a lid. And okay. And do eight in this one. No, this right is closed, there. right? All right. What do you think? How does that look? Oh my God, that's gorgeous. Look at that, guys. That is beautiful. It really is. This is so much fun to have our new camera person doing this for us so that we can all be in the shot at the same time. So we need it. That is in. Mrs. Corbett on yeah. camera. Behind the scenes. That's right. <laughs> now for this one, we're using potassium iodide. Which is right here, which is a salt. You may remember this from the last one, sodium. Um, when we think about table, table salt is sodium chloride. This is potassium iodide. Sounds kind of similar. Both of them are salts. This actually looks just like a salt as well. Although it's not the kind of salt you would want to eat. Now for this, we just want to make a saturated solution. And if you think back to the super saturated demo where we took sodium acetate and we dissolved it in, um, in water and we poured it, it's the same type of same type of situation. We want to dissolve this and create a saturated solution of potassium iodide. So right now I'm using my fork from lunch. Wait, should I use my fork that I eat for lunch for this? Probably not. Probably no. not. That would be a lab safety no no. For all he actually that... didn't. This is not. He's lying just to get your <laughs> attention and make sure you're paying attention. That's right. There you go. See here. That's looking good. That is looking good. You know what we forgot is food coloring. 
Oh, do you have some? I think so. Actually, I don't know. No, I don't, know if no, we I don't think you did. You used it on that food coloring and milk thing. That's right. What about the gel stuff? Do you think that would work? It might work. Should let's, we get that? Let's try it out. Yeah. Okay. Where would I find it? So it's in the top right drawer, like where the, the griddle, there's a griddle inside. Yeah, somewhere around there. Now, today is going to be a little more tricky because we only have one contraption to release our Mentos. So the other one is going to be done the old fashioned way by hand. So, are you doing? I thought you were doing the elephant toothpaste. Are you doing the Mentos? I was going to do the Mentos. Okay. I thought. Shames, okay. you're doing the elephant or Mr. Lanigan. You're Mr. Lanigan. Doing <laughs> Okay. All right. Let's move this stuff out of the way, too. Okay. Let's get this okay, here. Okay, we'll get the other camera going. Yep. One. Wait, wait, wait. I pulled this out, right? <laughs> yeah. Two, three. Get the... Oh! Oh! It's stuck. There it goes. What? Oh. Yeah! It was so sticky with Oh, no. Ta-da! Nice. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? There's the aftermath. Normally, you put. Oh. Normally, we will have a big dollop of it on something. <laughs> what is this? It's Vegemite. Tastes like Australia. <laughs> that is gross. You want to try it again just to make sure? Do it one more time. Because <laughs> I got like a hint. And it was gross. That was more than a hint. <laughs> that was a shout out. <laughs> what is in that? Nastiness. Oh, they don't tell you what's in it. Of course not, because no nobody wonder. would eat it. <laughs> How do you make anything taste like Australia? Well, I'll tell you. 
You squeeze a bit of this on a little bit of that. In your spag, on your snag, on your favourite snack. Squeeze it, squirt it, rub it on your roast. You can put it on anything, not just your toast. This, those, yeah, nah, not these. Yup, 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 just give it a squeeze. Use it in the kitchen, use it in the car. Breakfast, lunch and tea, no more butter in your jar. There are no rules, it's really quite easy. Make anything taste like Australia with new Vegemite Squeezy. Take 427. <laughs>